We got a special treat today. Mouse hole is in the building. It's my first time using it in the OU tier since its release. I really haven't looked at this Pokemon. I didn't even know its stats until I recorded with Joey. Shout out to PokeMMD. But um, yeah, I uh, we're gonna get into it. Shouldn't be too long of a team builder. I'll try to keep these short. And right after this, we're going to hop on the ladder. Uh, should be around low 1800s and then uh, we'll ladder up to the 1900s with Mars Mouse Hold uh, or as far as we can get you know it might take us to 2000s who knows if it's really rolling right but anyway let's get into it so the first objective when you're building a team is to determine what the objective is you may have not said that right but you get what I'm saying uh, you want to determine why you're building the team like how you know where you're going if you don't know where you're going you know what I mean but uh <laughs> I swear I'm sober, but um, yeah. So mouse hold uh, is the the core mod here. If you're building around something else, for example, to give you a visual, uh, let's say you wanted to build around rain. That's what's called a, a field condition, right? Rain, terrain, uh, trick room. Those are conditions that are external to the Pokemon, and so the mods that you put on a team would be there to to thrive within that environment thrive within the sun thrive within the rain thrive within the trick room thrive within the terrain you get it in this case it's not that it's going to be supporting one mon now it doesn't mean the entire team has to be around that particular mon oftentimes that won't be the case but also uh when i scroll through the tier because what you want to do is well the first thing you pick the mon so we already done that but then you want to scroll through the tier step two is what stops it what stops the thing you want to use successfully and so steals obviously in corbinite gambit i'm gonna be not so much gold angle steel gambit threads to a degree are things that stop mouse soul threads is a little easier to weaken but those are things that that would, would annoy annoy this beast right and so we have the terror ghost here primarily because of priority priority mock punch would ko it Priority extreme speed is very common with uh, Dragonite, right? Uh, and it allows for just fighting stab in general. If it's something you can't one shot, let's say you're facing a great tusk and it, you know, it has the CC, it's very likely you'll go for that. You terror ghost. And um, though it's so frail, it probably goes for the headlong rush if it has it too. But uh, you know, even if that's the case, you can sub to drop its defenses until population bomb just drops it in the dirt. So that's the thing, man. Muscle is gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, we scout out primarily Corviknight and, and King Gambit, right? Those are gonna be your two more annoying foes. And so we paired it with Magnezone, right? So the third step is after you determine what is going to stop you, you must then find a solution. That's all Pokemon is. Your opponents prevent, present you with problems and then you have to solve them. And the best players in the world are those who can solve the problems automatically. So when I see a team, there are a lot of reasons for this. Product's coming out soon. I'll teach you how to do this in a very short period of time. Um, sure, the book already does that, but things on a way, way better scale. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, but yeah, so it's really solving problems. And so what I'm doing is, okay, I'm solving the problem before the problem arises. That's really what team building is. You look at what your environment is, which is the metagame, and then you go, okay, what problems do I need to solve before I even face them? But you can't do this unless you have information on the tier. So never try to team build. I don't say never, but I discourage team building if you've never played the tier. Grab somebody else's team and play the tier. Get acclimated to what's commonplace, and then you can know what problems exist. And when you know what problems exist, you can know what problems to solve. And then you make the real money, right? Uh, so Magnezone is fairly simple. It's going to be the similar set that we used last week. I mean, earlier this week. Uh, and its job is to get rid of Corviknight. Right? Get rid of Corviknight. It can get rid of Gambit as well with the body press. Uh, not super reliable, but it can. Um, and then we have another fun mod here. So I was like, okay. And I was like, you know what? What's great with Mousehold? Trickery. And what better trickster than Zorark is Sui, right? He's back. I know you guys really enjoyed me using this. And I was like, you know, Mousehold is one of those mons, like the combination of not knowing whether it's an actual magnet, well, you can know. Well, you can know if it's a steel type because you're trapped. 
but not knowing whether it's the Magnazone or Zoroark, the Mousehold, and if you guess wrong, or I don't use the word guess, but if you deduce incorrectly, then you could be screwed, right? Because uh, Zoroark could blow away your team. Uh, there's so many, so many uh, ways to go about skidding this guy. So uh, we're going to use Choice Scarf, very similar to the last one. The reason is that if there are setup sweepers that are a little pesky, uh, this is a fail safe for me. And by setup sweepers, I mean opposing Volcarona with Terra Fairy. Like if, if I'm not careful, then I could get swept by that very easily. And so if push come to shove, I know I have the choice guards or arc. If he tries to quiver dance and he's feeling himself a little too much, I'll trick him. Right, to neutral, neutralize, neutralize, neutralize. Even then it could be dangerous because, you know, we don't have the best uh, fire resists. But, you know, Terra will come through, push come to shove. Uh, and plus, a lot of times they may even quiver dance again and not expecting the trick. So this is a fail save, not just with this, but also versus bulkier, tricky teams. Because this is still a relatively offensive team. I don't have a lot of walls. And so what you're going to find in my battles is that I have to play near perfection in order to provide some room for defense. And I, I don't remember who commented, but he was like, you know, um, you know, it was like, say he was playing competitive monster quite some time. And it was like, hats off to you, my guy, uh, because of how you maneuvered, given how offensive your team is and how many weaknesses it quote unquote has. Which is a paradigm you'll eventually grow out of in terms of my team needs to have 10 fairy weak for it to do three fairy resist. Da, 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 da. Um, that's a necessary step, but beyond a point you learn how that that plays supersede teams. Um, but I don't want to go into that here. That's that's besides the point of this video. Uh, and not always the case. You can have a matchup where it's impossible, but or near impossible. But um, oftentimes <clears throat> your play, particularly in this meta, and Terra can supersede the team. So uh, we're gonna be Terra Ghosting here because I found Terra Ghost effective. Our Terra Water Magazine, and I explained Terra Ghost on Mars. So those are actually fairly straightforward trickery to support these two bad boys and give the opponent because Magnazone already puts a mind game in your head if you have. Um, if you have something you don't want trapped, but then not knowing if it's a Magnezone or Zoroark, your mouse hold is something that forces in those things. Um, and what's beautiful is that Zoroark has U-turn, which and Zoroark lures in Gambit. Well, I don't say that because it can flamethrower it, but you know, Zoroark, Dragapult, um, because they're dragon types, there are not too many fairy types, natural fairy types in the tier other than Hatterene. And I don't need to explain why Hatterene doesn't come in on Dragapult or Zoroark. Uh, well, Dragapult more so because we're talking about dragons. So I think Hatterene might be the only fairy OU type. Fairy type in OU. Other than Garg, right? <laughs> and so because of that, uh, oftentimes you're going to lure that bad boy in, which allows for you to um, trap it, trap the steals, and then you can just Draco spam. Uh, the remainder of their team and if not just mouse hold them outright so i don't meant mouse hold by the way the reason for that is that i looked through the tier and i said okay well jolly mouse hold puts you at two i think 253 or something like that um <clears throat> and so 253 would allow me to outspeed garchomp um which we don't want to be populationing bomb bombing for obvious reasons but i'll allow me to outspeed iron threads without a boost and I think that's the only relevant speed tier. I mean, j timid Volk, I suppose. But that's another mind. You want to avoid population bombing if you can. Because uh, you will get burnt. <laughs> but everything else at out speed. So I didn't find the nest Because tidy up boosts your speed and attack. I wanted more attack than I wanted the speed. So that's my logic there. Um, if I find in practice it, it's uh, half relevant. Because I mean, a lot of the things that... <clears throat> are going to destroy you like the valiants the cinder races and whatnot are already faster than you even if i run max speed <clears throat> the only thing would be zorark and i was like uh yeah i uh, could have outsped it it's and zorark walking wake too mm, i don't know uh, jolly might be worth it i forgot about zorark and walking wake walking wake is irrelevant on top speed i'm gonna put it at jolly i'm gonna put it at jolly Walking Wake is relevant enough that 
that I want. I need to outspeed that bad boy. Um, Dragon Pulse is Dragon Pulse. Now we're packing Hydro Pump here over Flamethrower because uh, with Magnezones, because the previous Zorark team had Flamethrower because it sort of mimicked each other. Uh, but but in this case, Hydro Pump, uh, Hydro Pump is actually, for one, it's useful. It's, it's useful for Claude on Switch. I uh, have Claude feeling frisky. But it, what, what's beautiful about Hydro Pump in this meta is that it, it actually allows for a, a pretty big coverage range as far as neutrals. And what that means is Flamethrower a lot of times you either, a mod, player would have a mod that is either completely resisted or completely kills. With Hydro Pump, it's a harder resist to deal with. So let's say I'm like, okay, I'm trying to predict him from, like I want to use a move that doesn't let the Volk set up, but I want to hit this Great Tusk. Right, I'm like, oh shoot, I can only kill Great Tusk with Draco. And if I Draco, Volk comes in. Hydro Pump just blows away both of them, assuming the Volk isn't Terra, right? Um, and Garganical as well, Garg, uh, Terra Fairy. Uh, you know, obviously can come in and uh, eat it up no matter what the move is. Sure, you can U-turn out and whatnot, but this gives an extra sort of oomph to the, to the, to the situation. So, Hydro Pump and then you can Unaware Quad, Claude Zyre. Um, there was another relevant thing, but I think it was primarily those for now. Yeah, and if you're facing rain, Tinglu too, Tinglu, that's what one was. If you're facing rain, it obviously helps a lot more as well. So, um, that is that, uh, and sun, if you're facing sun outside of the sun. Um, <clears throat> so Garchomp is going to be, I uh, noticed no great tusk guys. I put an effort to, to, I don't think I put an effort. Because I wanted to try Serena, I took Great Tusk on. Okay, well, I can have Spinner. I could have still put a Great Tusk on here, Chupito. Uh, there's really no downside to to have had Great Tusk here. What was that? Let's try Chomp. We're going to go to Classic Chomp here. The beauty of this is that a lot of times, uh, Mons like to touch other Mons. Let's say Extreme Speeding with Dragonite. Let's say Mock Punching. Let's say Cinderace likes to U-turn, right? Uh, let's say things like the rapid spin gambit likes to go for katao uh, And just have no consequences now. Nah, it's time for consequences out here. So rocky helmet chomp <clears throat> and then spikes and rocks uh, With mouse hole in the back and potential shadow ballers in the back. Oh, that can be a lethal combination And so we're rocking spikes uh, Stealth rock dragon tail very classic set except for spikes because Garchomp didn't get spikes rocking terra steel covers Ice Fairy and Dragon, which is Garchomp's core weaknesses. I uh, could try something like uh, like um, like water as well and whatnot, but we'll just try Steel for now and see how that works out. Um, Terra Dragon, obviously, for a stronger Draco Meteors. Could try Terra Ghost too, um, but we're gonna rock Terra Dragon for now. And then lastly, Serena. So I'm like, oh damn, why Serena? I forgot. You know, there are a lot of priority mods in the tier right now, and Serena has a unique little niche that is like I feel it's underexplored and this partly is influenced by uh, doing the road with Joey I'm like you know Queenly Majesty with Queenly Majesty Serena Loki can shut down a young Dragonite you know what I mean now can't do shit to it but I might not need to right but it, it, it's it's if it terras into normal then I can can shut it down because I'm eating up the earthquakes and I'm too killing him with low kick right um, I thought about putting synthesis. It depends. There are a couple of things we could do here. I could opt for synthesis, which would just give me the longevity. Again, it's a fairly offensive team. Um, in practice, we're going to see how it functions. Um, but this also helps with Loom. This helps with just water types in general, like a more, I wouldn't say it's a defensive check, but it's more of a defensive check. Um, what else was the thing? There was something else to this. Um, or something else to this, but I mean, I guess it counters Azu. Uh, Banded Azu definitely could run through us. Terra Water, if Garchomp isn't at the utmost. Um, provides a nice, great Dusk mid ground. And yeah, I mean, oh yeah, that King Gambit, that's what it was. I was like, there was something else. So, because of Queenly Majesty, and we know Gambit relies heavily on the fact that it can Sucker Punch. If we force a Terra, Serena pretty much almost beats Gambit. Now, Low Kick doesn't one-shot, which is insane. Like, how bulky can that thing be? 
Uh, it doesn't one shot, but well, not it's not a guaranteed one shot unless I put high jump kick on there. But I'm not putting high jump kick on there. Um, low kick does enough to all the things that it's super effective on. But I calc it. So we got gargs and um, King Ting Lu if I don't want to miss and things of like nature, things of that nature. And so 15 minutes. I don't know how the time be blown. I feel like I'm blowing through the explanations, and it's still 15 minutes in. So. That's the team. I'm excited to see what it does, what edits we're going to make. And as I always say, the team is never done until you play with it. So let's get this party started and get into the battles. All right. It is game time. Um, <clears throat> very interesting team. Uh, I just realized I, I think I have a habit of doing this. I am super weak to value, but we'll make do. Um, Mouse hold could destroy my opponent uh, if it's not boost your valiant. I need to be careful around valiant. Valiante. Priority. Serena can drop Gambit if I need to. Magnezone can drop Gambit. I might just keep Magnezone at the utmost though on the out chance the valiant. Uh, the Valiant is booster. I need to have something to take it on because it could sweep me uh, without Garchomp being like um, without Garchomp Terra stealing. So I'll probably not use Magnezone for Valiant. Uh, as I said, I don't really have any walls. Hmm. <clears throat> Glamora is interesting. I have tidy up. T spikes are a big problem for me. I, I, my team does not like T-Spikes. Question is, is the Glamora... Okay, let me do this a different way. I don't think... I need to blow this guy away in a very short amount of time. So within like 20 turns. Because uh, his team has too many beasts. I may be able to achieve that with... Voltish, maybe with Zorark, yes. Couple Zorark answers though. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use Zorark to bluff Chomp. No, I'm going to actually pull. Um, and I'm gonna have Zorark bluff Chomp later. Uh, Cause whenever I use Zorark, I have so he leads Dragapult. Obviously, I could be Zorark. Um, I don't know the level of ability of my opponent. He's only seventeen fifties. I don't like going to my. He should scout, but that gives me insight. Okay, so that gave me a lot of information as to my opponent's level of skill. You never Draco there. Um, that was an awful decision. Awful, awful, awful play. Awful, awful, awful play. Um, and I get a crit there, which is pretty fortunate. But I could have knocked out his Zorart there. Um, I know Tusk is coming in just based on how he played the first couple of turns. So that gives me a lot. This makes the game a lot easier for me. Not because... Let me think. Chomp. I need that Gamora Sash gone. If it's Sash. But it might not be. What is this Great Tusk? It's like Bandit or something. Uh, Serena's core purpose in this game, it can take one hit from Valiant. Um, let's say he rocks here. Hmm, I need to have either Serena at the utmost or Garchomp. Question is who's more important? Going to Garchomp first. Uh, if he headlong rushes, I uh, get to Rough Skin and Rocky Elmid him down, which means he can't go for rocks. Uh, so he's mm, interesting. Eject Pack. Okay, what does that mean for me? Uh, the relevant mons is Dragapult's gonna come back in, which is frustrating, but he's he doesn't want to not Draco. So I have to keep Serena at max. Uh, or Garchomp at max for 
could terra steal and kill him but it's gonna do too much damage um hmm so it's a draco meteor here yeah and this is a, a free flash can it might sack it or go to great tusk uh gomorrah doesn't make sense <clears throat> i'm still high enough on health that if his gl is Valiant does not have CC, or I can Terra Water this and maybe live this. Ah, I'm probably not living CC anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably have to make at least. Okay, so I was gonna say more doesn't make any sense, but apparently my opponent disagreed. So he, he doesn't have rocks, earth power, mortal spin. I don't know what his last move is gonna be. <clears throat> huh. Because my mouse hole is just okay right now so what i'm gonna end up doing the way he's playing is as if he does not want because spikes kills well no it doesn't kill uh, let's say he only has i'm gonna do is end up chomping <clears throat> spikes kills um two of his mons he can't mortal spin uh he might go pult again <clears throat> if he doesn't go pulled again, then I kill three of his mons here. Yeah, and I can still go for uh, he may go pulled now <clears throat> In which case it's okay. Oh, uh, yeah uh, It's not okay, but you know what I mean um, So again, I have to be very careful I my Serena has heavy duty boots and I have the spikes up So Draco most likely up, which knocks me out I have Zoroark. Ah, oh, fuck! I made it Garchomp, right? Okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so it shows that I'm Scarf now. Uh, so I want to U-turn, and he hasn't Terra'd yet. So he has a Roaring Moon, which if that's the booster, if his Roaring Moon is booster, that's a problem. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to modify this a bit because <clears throat> I don't have the firepower. You know, this is, I don't know, because this is a pretty odd structured team. Like, if I had a normal team, I'd just wash this guy. So I'm like, because Serena would be the thing that I'd have to take off. And I'm like, ah, but Serena's so cool. Uh, yeah, so he has three mods effectively. Unless I tidy up. But if I tidy up, he's in trouble. So what I'll do is go this first. I'm gonna scout to see what his roaring is. Um, probably shouldn't have went this route because I should have went Dragapult here. This is a misplay. I didn't think this through. Now he doesn't know. Actually, no, no, no. That's uh, if he's boosted is a misplay. Yeah. He's booster. It's a misplay. And he is. It's attack boosting, which means he has to drag in his here. Um, the question is, does he? Does he? Does he tear a flying in dragon dance, or does he just acrobatic straight up? Uh, do I tear this? I don't. I don't tear it. Please fucking go through. Why is the timer going down? He just acro straight up. Which is going to be game potentially. The p and these usually don't have dragon moves. Oh wow, that one shot. So I was supposed to tear a steel there. Um and I don't know why I didn't just go drag a pole here, truth be told. Um Yeah, so if it's booster valiant, then <clears throat> I'm in trouble. Okay, so it goes hard gambit first, and it's balloon gambit. Which is letting me think he's not booster valiant. If it's not booster valiant, then. Uh, uh, I need something better than Serena. 
Might have to put Corviknight on here. Because uh, my soul, like, the fact that I have to do all this is ridiculous. Uh, I just sacked, what did I just sack? My soul. No, I just actually sacked Zorak. And obviously the, um, the mouse hold isn't going to do shit. Yeah, you just could tell. Population bomb isn't going to do any kind of damage. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, that's a very, yeah, but I don't like matchup losses. Um, I'm going to play the live out with it. I'm going to play the live out with it. But I'll have to edit it next live. Because I already made the whole team builder with the... Because the moment I saw his Valiant and his, and his Roaring Moon, I was like, oh, shit. But truth be told, the turn that um, I went Guard Chomp on his Roaring Moon was unnecessary. I forgot he didn't get a speed boost, so I should have went to, to, to Dragapult there anyway. So that was a misplay anyway. So, yeah. Given the situation, I still could have played it better. So what I'll do is just keep the, the Serena now. Uh, I say, I don't know what I'd do. I'd, uh, the team would go very close back to the struck. Like I'd probably, uh, really, okay, I'll, I'll see. I'll do what I can. If, if it's, if it's too much of a, if it, cause Mouse Soul, Magnezone, um, Zorark pretty much, well, half of my team pretty much never switches, well, four of my members, I uh, kind of put Zone in there, but four of my members aren't meant to ever switch into anything, which, when I run into a fairy type in particular, Magnazone, fairy type plus Magnazone, oh, Valiant's a fairy type, I said Hatterene was the only fairy type, um, and Grimson, I think Grimson, I'll tell you, but anyway, uh, that was a good, good lane to learn from, because the strategy is useless if I can't ever attack. So that's something. I might restructure just to, to put a core of an tusk here to balance it out. Then I can just, it'll give me a lot more wiggle room. Plus uh, it'll give me an additional U-Turner. Now it'll be a very similar structure to the first one. It'll be like a mash of the last Zorark team and, the, and this, but fuck it. At this point, I just want to get out of the damn 1800s to 1900s. Uh, well, yeah, let's uh, let's break this down. Um, this guy's a very weird team, but uh, it's, it's, it's pesky at the same time. Like, he has just the right amount of things that I don't want to see to give me trouble. Like, I don't have any one mind that just washes him. The closest thing would be Mouse Hole, but even then. I'll have to play this defensively, as odd as that sounds. I have to to play this a little more on the back foot. So I didn't even think about my Zorak strat. I'll have Zoro be Draco. Well, I'll have Zoro be Marsh Mouse Hold. Um, um, the seam is so unorthodox that I, it's hard for me to even if it's just a Zorak, which it could be. I doubt it, but even if it is, I'll survive. My Magnezone is important because I don't have any Dragon Resists, but um, I figured it wasn't the... This allows for me to flash into VS. It doesn't have a Flash Cannon switch in. In fact, I don't need to flash into VS. Thing is, as it's going to Parting Shot, I can't stop it because I don't have a Dark Titan or a Gold Angle. Uh, and the reason I have... I would have... Corf plus Tusk is that I don't want to just have Defog since Gold Angle is a thing. So since he could just uh, parting shot into a one of his, I don't know what, probably I figured it'd be the worm. Since he could parting shot into something of this kind, uh, be, it would make a lot of sense for me to, um, hmm. do I want my scarf? If I go Zorark, he's going to, because obviously uh, Dragapult goes through screens. Uh, this is where Hydro Pump is great. It's such a good mid ground. I don't know why he stayed in. If I had Flamethrower, he would have died. Um, so that gives me a lot of insight as to far how much my opponent is thinking. I'm clear body too. That's why it didn't take that much. Fuck. It's supposed to be Infiltrator. So I'm like, damn, that did nothing. So it goes Hatterene here. Which is probably not Hatterene. It's probably Zorak, but that's okay. 
Iaterin is irrelevant because I have a Marsh Marsh Mouse Hold. Um, yeah, Zorark. It's Life Orb. Mm, I doubt Flamethrower will kill me. Ah, oh, man. If I just uh, didn't fuck the ability up there. Uh, so in that case, it would be flamethrowing here. Yeah, like this was even this was an odd play because again, if I had, if I had, if all I'd need to do is Vol switch out into my uh, my Dragapult here, and I would kill his um, Zorak with Draco Meteor. So uh, what we end up doing? I end up taking his Life Orb. Um, just giving him a scarf. The reason is because the screens are up and he's, he's gonna lock him into a move. He goes to Earthworm there. Which, eh. This is not the end of the world, but it's not my ideal situation. Uh, this was not my ideal. I need to look over these damn. That fucking Dragon Bolt, the Dragapult turn was huge. Uh, so we're gonna take his light screens here. So that the, the light clay so that um, um, that reflect the light screen matters but the reflect matters more the light screen shouldn't matter because Polt is my only heavy hitter in uh, in that department but and he has shown that he does not have parting shot it seems I don't know if Queenly Majesty still blocks parting shot but um the way he switched out of my zone, I think he has T-Wave and probably Taunt. I uh, did not have a lot of confidence. It's probably T-Wave or, or T-Wave Light um, Magic Break. What the fuck is that shit called? You know what I'm talking about. So if Zoro coming in would be a bitch. Um, but I figured he might stay into Spirit Break and I didn't want to Volt Switch out. Um, and have something else take it. Nothing on my team wants it. No one wants that smoke. But as I said, Serena, still amazing versus the Gambit. Population Bomber can destroy uh, the last. In fact, destroy this, since I've confirmed, destroy this. Uh, Garchomp and that destroys this. His Dragapult is in. Oh, yeah. Scarf would have been nice for you, wouldn't it have? Okay. All right, then. What is he going for? D-Dance. So if he D dances, then he'd go for the. Okay. Okay. So the as a very what did I have? No, it wasn't that risky with my Magnezon. So he darts. This is where Terra in hand helps a lot. Um, it does mean uh, now me losing my typing doesn't matter here. So we uh Terra Dragon Tail unless he's Terra Fairy. Okay, so he just um. So he doesn't want the dragon tail smoke. His reflect is gone, which is where that. Uh, I don't know what is. He could go Hatterene. Uh, if he goes Hatterene, is that really the end of the world compared to. Can't do it. I'll earthquake here, actually. It's better to EQ than dragon tail this turn. Um, it 2 KOs the Pult, because dragon tail would 2 a KO it anyway. And it covers for the Hatterene. Uh, if he stays in, he'd have to Terra Ghost, I think. He could, I don't know why you Terra Dragon, but... Um, I didn't contemplate. Now I'm really glad I put Steel on this. Um, because Dragon Garchomp being a Steel type with a fucking... And then Eject Button is such a common thing. Now obviously I'm you know, weak to potential Flamethrower, but I don't think the Zorark has it or he was trying to cover. So yeah, he does Terra Ghost. Uh, as he's going to Phantom Force. Um, this, sh wow, that did a lot. Shit. All right, I forgot about the damn boost, but I should knock him out. I forgot about the boost. And this is where Serena is so freaking handsome because Gambit can never beat it because now your Terra type is gone. So it can never sucker punch me. At least I got that ability, right? And then the, the mouse hole can clobber the other two because I'd assume he goes Zorark here. He goes Gambit. That's uh, very odd. Um... I don't agree with it, but I will accept it. Unless he's trying to bait me to... To, um... Which one would I rather? Rocks or spikes? Spikes. If he goes to Hattering, good play. 
So it, it goes to it to take the damage. I don't get that at all. I mean, again, not complaining. Like, he would have just lost his gambit. So it, it's saving his... He's saving his... Um, his... Goes over arc. Yep. Because it's obvious. Um, problem is that I don't think you... Uh, which one did I want to keep? Once this dies... A oh, mouse hole destroys him now. Yeah, let's go to this. He could flamethrower. He has it, but a mouse hole gets a freeze. This is where a jolly comes in handy, actually. It's funny. So I, I just EQ'd. Because uh, I was thinking, okay, well, certainly you're going to want us to speed tie. But I was thinking, well, certainly you're going to. Um, the reason you went to Gambit is because you're going to sucker punch. So I got the opportunity to spike. Even if he stayed in again, I'm not concerned because that gives me the damage to guarantee. Uh, we actually end up winning that tie. If it's a tie, it could have just been a modest Zoroark for some reason. Uh, and now he has to go back to Gambit. The Gambino. The Gambino. And uh, what, what do you have? Life for uh, I see. Well, no, I don't think. I think I'm just still pretending that it's. Was it Life Orb? Oh, he was Life Orb. Okay. Uh, I'll take that. I'm going to take that from you. I'm going to hold that Life Orb real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that life for real quick, buddy. I'm gonna hold that life for real quick for you. And then I'm gonna. Uh... He's like, keep my life for back, jerk. Why do we have no point when I decayed? But, and I just lost uh, a 1750 dude. But yeah, we're gonna um, ride it out with the Serena. So this is what I mean, where like that particular ma matchup, the Serena was king. And in the first one, is like, ugh, like a fucking. Uh, Valiant and uh, but I, I don't think I can survive. I don't. If I run into from a speed tier standpoint, if I run into Valiant, and and really any variant, it is just gonna really give me a hard time. So I'm gonna have to go back to the basics. Tusk, this this, this duel is gonna fuck me right the fuck here, uh, and that should be able to take us to 19. Um. Mm, yeah, let's just keep playing. It's it's funny though watching my brain struggle to process all the things like process the mouse hold and the Zoroark and what I'm supposed to pretend that it is, but also like it's like too much processing at the same time. So it's gonna take some a game or two to to adjust to. Okay, I'm, what am I supposed to be winning with? I set up spikes, but that, if I tidy up, I get rid of them. I need to get rid of them. Do I want to trick something? Do I? Uh, so in this one, my my ghosts are killer, literally. My ghosts are killer. Uh, it's very similar situation where we're gonna trap, but he has a Tinglu, so the dragon, my my dragapult isn't as overwhelming. But one thing that is is Serena, as far as baiting the Corviknight out. So that's that's great. And once that's achieved, I mean, it's time to. Population bombing some fools. Uh, does have a dozo, but yeah, it's really about overwhelming Tinglu early and then um, overwhelming Tinglu early and then Shadow Ball spamming and keep Zoro tucked because it outspeeds everything guaranteed uh, unless it's Scarf Dragapult. So. What sequence makes the most sense? Most sense Zoro and lead to cover for his bolt. My Zoro is gonna pretend to be Pult. Um because it's too much of a gamble if he's not. Uh <clears throat> I I really tempted to, to just shadow ball here. If I if he stays in like the last guy, like it just makes so much sense to just go Tinglu and Scout. Like, you don't want to risk me being Zorark. But you may be like, well, fuck it, I'll just Draco Meteor if you're Zorark. <sighs> Let me think about this. Tinglu coming in, catching this Pult versus Tinglu coming in. Tinglu coming in invites in the Champino. He should switch, but I'll just play it safe. It's a horrendous play if he stays in. Um. 
him staying in just losing me a little too much value. I mean, I'd, I'd prefer not to have my, my Magnazone in on his pult. So, goes to Tinglo. Now, the upside is that he still doesn't know, like, what I am. Like, I could go Serena, uh, but it's better to chomp because when he won't know what kind of chomp I am, he'll assume that I am the chain chomp with the all the things. Now, the downside is fucking Ruination. Damn. That's actually not good. I forgot about Ruination. Uh, the thing about it is that I have two spin blockers. <clears throat> Okay, EQ's EQ's a two KO. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Uh so he goes hard pull. This is a beauty, man. Forces these plays. I'm going to shadow ball again. Yeah, Ting Lu could come in, but I have a Serena. I'm just not going to it's not that he has a spike up, it's too big of a gamble. Uh, so spikes here. He only has one spin blocker, which he doesn't want to go to, uh, for obvious reasons. Oh, he goes Goldengo this time. I don't. What I for? I completely forgot about the Goldengo. That's a big fucking turn. Like me not you turning on this is a huge deal. I mean, just huge deal. Like I, I completely fucked up. I completely ignored his Goldengo. Now I know it's, it could be Scar. I don't think I died to make it rain, but I should not be taking a make it rain here. I don't want to give Chomp up. Man, uh, let's see how much this does for future reference. It does way too much. Shit. Okay. Well, I'm fucking up. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm playing this very sloppily. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is that zone could beat him by itself. Uh, that's a potential win condition. Is. If I go Marshall, Marshall, or whatever the shit is called. So I end up doing a Zoro again, bluffing the D Knight, the D Knight. Man, I cannot believe I forgot about his Goldengo. Ah! Ah! I am not pleased. I just made this so much harder for myself. Now I'm still still winning, winning, winning. Um But I, I made this so much harder. You see, this is the position we should be in. Uh you scarf. The way he's playing. Corby, he's finally tired of my shit. What are you gonna do? U turn, you turn out into a tusk. That's fine. Go ahead and your turn. You take your points. Yeah, I'd rather have you see my Joe Rourke. I don't care anymore. Because now your your Corviknight, which is the point of it is to take population bombs, is done as it is. And Ting Lu ain't no motherfucking counter in these streets. Uh, so Earthquake's coming out. Because he's tired of my Serena's shit. But as you saw, uh, Shadow Ball... Uh, Shadow Ball is becoming more and more of a problem, like I said it would be. So now, Dragapult Shadow Ball picks up a KO every time. But Zorark can never go. Question is, do I give Chompinator up? Serena is more useful. Yeah. Especially if he doesn't go for EQ, which yeah, I figured he would. Um, if he leaves this in, uh, eh, no, I'd rather. I, I, I don't mind him leaving it in. Now it is putting a lot of pressure on my on my Zoro. Shadow ball again. Cause I don't know if this shit is scarfed. Based on how much it did to, to um, as I said, my my Magnezone by itself could do some work. Let me see how much I'm taking. I'm at. I think I have two more switches. Forty-one to sixteen percent. Yeah. Um. Want to turn so bad here? 
If he stays in, then he's going to shot a ball. I mean, he's going to make it rain. His zone can come in on. Need to be mindful of zone's health. Oh, yeah, I need to stand. Uh, but he should make it rain. Yeah. And then I get to Lauren Tinglu. I'd be very shocked if. Oh, he's not. Oh, wow. Fuck. That's not good. He wasn't choiced. So I could have killed his gold angle there. Um, which means now he gets to go. He got goes pulp first, which is interesting. And he's going to Draco. Uh, which means I lose my spinner. The thing about it is that my Serena. Me had like such a shit play I made. Because Serena. Um, Zombies one, two, three. He Draco's here, and then I have to go to my Zorark. No, I don't have to go to Zorark. I'll get another kill, but yeah. Uh, the way I structured this team is making the games too hard. Like the games are unnecessarily difficult. I can also Draco destroy him, which is probably the easiest win con like it's not like a oh no the game is over or anything like that it's just that it's just very it's unnecessarily hard uh spold has one more round if i shot a ball ting will take it if i draco and he sacks corvy come on no if this is spadef corvy i'm done and i just wasted a draco Fuck, bro. Come on, man. And he's gonna use... This is such bullshit. I just wasted all my Dracos and this Corviknight gets to U-turn. So the game might be over now since this Corviknight healed. Because all he's gonna do is U-turn out into fucking uh, Great Tusk. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not gonna give up. But that's such a big fucking... Like, it's such a big video. Particularly because it it lived twice. Because I likely have to Draco this shit again. Um, upside is that I lure in his Dragapult. Yeah, and that's his last round of, of like he dies now. But Magnezone is too good. Like as I told you, Magnezone can win by itself. Especially the Tusk. You know, the Tusk always outspeeds me. But the other guys die. Uh, Mousehold... He's probably not getting past Dozo and Tusk, so I'll give that up as he likely Draco's here. Flamethrowers. <laughs> if I... <laughs> so I could have pivoted to Pulp there on the Draco. I mean on the Flamethrower since he... It is what it is, man. Um... Uh... I, uh the, the misses really was the problem is without the miss I, I think I had this um hmm it's Draco though you know what is it what it is it is what it is uh it's worth keeping the sack it's worth keeping the sack hydro covers for Tusk is dead he wants Tusk alive please fucking hit sacks Paul which is blessed so now he can't just go Corvin. He goes Dozo, which is uh, Boots. Wave Crash. I can't go Zone. I got a Terror Dragon. And wipe the field with his team. Wipe his team with the field. Wipe the field. I got to get this turn right. I don't want to. He knows if I Terror, he dies. But the Dozo isn't that good. The problem is that his Corviknight is still at the up. I need to get this turn right. His Corviknight is still at full. If I Shadow Ball, Ting Lu takes too easily. If I Draco and he goes Corviknight, yeah, that, that miss is going to be the death of me. Um, I needed to get that right. I did get it right, which is great. I don't think Tusk can take a hit, even if he goes Tusk. Now he's going to U-turn out. Uh, into Tusk, and I'll have one. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I survived the U-turn. He fucking going for a roost for some reason. That was a bad play. If I went hard zone there, I got you. Uh, he may think I just went zone, so who the fuck knows. Let's see if I trick. This trick is irrelevant. Terror Dragons. Okay, that's why he went zone. Well, Terror Dragon obviously means now my Dragapult. I wish I had. <laughs> I wish I had fucking. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had the. Uh, dragon Pulse. <laughs> so obviously he goes to. Now this is gonna be very interesting in game. Because I'm terrored. So this is a kill every time. So he's gonna give me one. So this is a big turn. If I hide your pump as he goes to Corviknight, I lose. If I Draco Meteor as he goes to. I think he has to go Corviknight because I. I uh... He doesn't need it anymore. I, I disagree with that play. If I hydro there, I had him. Mm. No, it's hard to say. Cause Ting Lu. Yeah, it's gonna be real close. I don't know. I don't think I can one shot his Corvinet. But it's taking spikes and rocks, so it's gonna be very close. Ah, oh, I just what I just didn't consider is that. Can you believe that one Draco missed, bros? I knew this would happen. This particular... I'm like, the moment this Corviknight didn't die, I'm like, fuck. Because I had to use one on the miss. I mean, two on the miss and two on the one that didn't kill him. Alright. He uh, might throw and not go Corviknight, though. The reason I say that's that all he threw. Because if he went Corviknight... If he went Corviknight, he just pressured me. Now I have one Draco left at 64% with Terror Ghost. Come on, come on. Are you fucking serious? And I'm using a Serena and a Mouse Soul, bros. I'm using a Serena and a Mouse Soul. <laughs> All right, a rough one today, but we're gonna, I'm actually gonna make the edit right now. It's leaving too much room, like, uh, I do not like matchup losses, where I, I, I have to play like a fucking madman just to win a simple game when the opponent is not playing particularly well. Not playing badly, but it's not like a way where I'm like, I don't, man, I just don't know what to do, you know, like, so I'm, I might have to go to all reliable here. So. Hit the like button down below uh, if you somehow enjoyed this shit. And uh, yeah, old reliable Tusk is back in the building. Uh, I'll leave the version I'm putting now in the description. And we'll just make, cause now this covers for the fairy spam. I can like wiggle around a lot more. Risters the dragons while still having the offensive pressure, right? It is what it is. Uh, do I make this bulk up or do I make it standard core? Defog. Mm, I don't want defog, and tidy up, and spin. That's a waste. So I made this bulk up. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace.